So far and a few, far and a few, far yeah, far and a few in. <laughs> We do bring you another unboxing from the LOL Surprise OMG line, uh, Series 1. This is Lady Diva, so this is my third girl from this series, so I am one, I'm one away from completing this series, so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, as we've said in other videos, uh, we have 20 surprises inside. You can unbox the fashions, dress, it says dress me, strut your stuff, reusable dressing room, I'm a fashion doll. Uh, like I said, this is Lady Diva, and she has, her, they all have their own specialized boxes. We'll just take a look at this. This is Lady Diva on the side here in pink spots. And then you can pause that if you want to read that, but it's exactly the same on all the other boxes. Below it shows you, um, colorized silhouettes of the girls that are from the series. Swag is the last one we have, uh, and we're actually currently still looking for. <laughs> she must be the, uh, popularest one out of the bunch because she's a little bit elusive. Okay, so um, the first thing we need to do is take this plastic off. So I'm going to take the plastic off. And the second thing we do is open up this. It's, it's a bit hard for me to do this whole... <laughs> the whole effect here with one hand, but I'm going to try. Because, you know, like I said before, I need to have a tripod, but I don't have it. You know, today is my day off. I should probably go to the store and find a tripod. So here she is. It says, Lady Diva... Give me the mic, turn on the spotlight, and just dance. I strut fashion, baby, because I was born a star. So here is a look at her box art here, uncovered out of the silhouette. And then we move over to this side, where we have her fashions. So we're going to pull this whole chunk out here, and we're going to... We're going to take all the stuff out of this tray, and we're going to show you it bit by bit. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the Fall 2019 Fashion Magazine. What's your star sign? And Lady Diva is Aries, and it says, Get out on that stage and sing your heart out, because today your performances will be fire. And the next thing we'll take a look at is, I guess we'll look, look, here's her shoe box. Now this shoe box is gray, and it's really long. It does say in the front, six, size six and a half. They all seem to be the same shoe size, which is very convenient. And this is pink snakeskin. So we have pink, white, we have white tissue paper with pink spots on it. As the wrapping paper. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at these boots. And they really are simulated to be snakeskin. Uh, they're pink and black snakeskin textured. Um, I wouldn't say that they're, they're super snakeskin textured, but it definitely has that look about it. You can see it. And it looks like they might actually be knee-high. They're either knee-high or thigh-high. I think they're knee-high. And they have these uh, chain-type lace... I want to say mock laces. I don't really know. Because it would probably would be a zipper in the back. I'm not sure. And then there's a really close high heel on the back of that. So they're a high heel boot. High heel knee high boot. And they are metallic silver. Like the chains and the buttons painted. That, the det that little detail is a big deal to me. And of course there's two of them in there. So we're going to put those aside still. And then the next thing we have here is our hat box, or our accessory box. And it does say LOL, LOL Surprise OMG, just like the shoe box said on top of it. Uh, same tissue paper here. So it doesn't look like we get a lot in this accessory kit here, but let's just take a look here. Oh, actually we do. It just didn't seem to be. So we have this... Um, I guess you want to call it a headset. That's what else what else could you call it? It's black and it has um little metallic I guess there, what what's the word I'm looking for on them? Studs? Flat studs. It's hard to hard to get that to focus. It doesn't want to focus for me. There it is. 
And then there, there's the mouthpiece right there. So that's actually pretty well made. And then we have, I think this is a, this is either a belt or a, a choker, but I'm thinking this is a belt that says Diva on it. And this is plastic. It'll wrap around and it looks like a chain. And, and it's all done on that metallic silver to give it that uh, silver look. And then this is the necklace, I think. So you have the unity. I think it's a unity symbol. Someone get me. A, someone, someone, correct me, but down below if I'm wrong. But I think it's unity, and that's also done in the metallic silver to make that look like a, a nice silver chain. And then these really cool snake ears, snake earrings, guys. I would definitely wear these snake earrings. In fact, I think I had rings back in the day that match, match those. And then, is this a choker too? We have a belt strap type choker that says Slay on it. You can see even the, the little fine details on this, even the little clasp at the back, it's not an actual clasp, but it sure looks like it. Like a belt loop clasp. And then Slay is also done in that metallic silver. And then here's the other earring. So I'm going to put that stuff aside. And we're going to check out our next accessory pack. So the first clothing piece that we're going to look at right now is in this clothes bag that says BB Boutique all over it. BB Boutique, Bebe, two-day delivery. So she definitely had this shipped to herself. Um, and it has that black leopard print with a white background on it. It looks like our hanger is going to be a metallic silver. Okay, so we have this really cool um, mock fur, I guess a faux fur, pink jacket. It has a little bit of sparkle in it, in the light. But this is pretty cool, and yes, it is a silver hanger that it's on. And we'll take a look at our other piece. So this one's more like a leopard. It's weird. It's like leopard skin and snake skin all at the same, or le leopard fur. And snakeskin all at the same time. So you got the spots and you got the scales and two different type of pinks and then black. This is a really cool bag. Looks like our hanger is going to be blue. So the fabric on this skirt's a little bit thin for my likings for this line, but I think it's more supposed to be like a pleather, like a matte pleather. Um, it's white and black, and you can see the spots on it. It also has a ribbon type uh, hem on the top. And it is Velcro. And then the front of it has this tiny little... And this is a subtle detail, guys, but it's it, it's all the little details that work. Uh, it's a little slit, if I can get it to focus. And you can see that... And you can see the metallic silver seams that run through it. So I can't wait to get this on our girl. But let's let's actually see our girl before we get her all dressed up. So let's see. We open it up here. Get it to pull out. And here she is. Wow, you know what? I've been see oh look at that gorgeous uh look at her gorgeous under undergarments. Yeah, undergarments. I didn't realize it. I've seen her on camera a few times. I'm sorry about the jittery camera uh camera work here. I'm a little excited. She looks like to you guys to be a full blonde, but it's actually a very, very, very subtle tint of green. So I guess it's more of like a greenish blonde hair color. But um, before we start talking about her, let's check out the other last accessory that we have in here. And I think, according to all the other stuff, this is probably going to be her purse. And this is probably the box art for the purse. So I'm thinking this might be her purse right here. So let's just get this opened. Yep. Yep, so uh, this is going to be our purse. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so our purse ha is a white purse with a mock chain that is painted in metallic silver. And then we have these other periwinkle type uh, striping uh, or steaming that go up the sides that also have a little bit of metallic stud work on the top of the hand part. And then it is open, it's stuck open, but you can put stuff in it. You can put some of her accessories in it, or, or I don't know, some lipstick or something. 
And then, of course, we have the black spots that you guys can see. And it's all in a circular. This is a really nice purse. For a purse that's not... A, it's functional and it's... I don't know. It's good. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get our girl out of the box here. And we'll take a closer look at her. So inside her box, we get this pearlescent uh, stand top and stand bottom. As well as instructions on how to use our stand. Uh, there are two different settings for this stand. One to make them sit. And one to make them stand. Uh, the sitting part is a little bit difficult with these dolls since they have the click knees. Um, and then she comes with a uh, hot pink round brush. And here is our girl. Let me just get all these all the debris off. So here she is, Liddy Diva. And she has really, really soft, I guess I guess it's soft um, pencil pencil curls. Pencil curled bangs, which is really really soft and fluffy. You can see all that texture and all that bounce. And then she has a really long, I want to say, people have said it before and they have compared her. Uh, it's almost like a Lady Gaga type ponytail or maybe old school Madonna. Uh, they used her hair itself to wrap around and make the uh, ponytail. And then it goes down in three different separate curls. The curls aren't perfect, but they are... Um, there's a lot of product in them to keep them where they are. I think my hair might be coming out, but I'm not sure. So maybe not. Maybe her hair is just meant to be that way. Have that little, small, little short curl in the back. Um, yeah, comment below if you guys have, uh, if you guys, guys have her. And, uh, her hair's sort of like this. So I want to know if that's just my girl or if that's, um, something standard. Anyhow. She has a dark tan complexion. Her head moves back and forth. I'm kind of all over with this video because I'm kind of excited about it. She has um, pencil thin dark brown eyebrows that go out straight. Her eyes are these big baby doe eyes that are like an aqua greenish blue color. And then she has pink eye shadow that go over the top and a darker pinkish color on her cheeks and she also has a beauty mark that's right below her bottom lip to the uh, left moving down I think this is a two piece yeah so she has a two two piece I want to say undergarment on so I don't know if this is a bra or if this is just like a sport outfit so you have the uh, periwinkle color in that I want to say the vinyl it's a vinyl type material that kind of crisscrosses on the top up here, on the middle, and then it lines the bottom of her underwear slash boy shorts or whatever you want to call them. And then the snake print in black and white on both top and bottom. Uh, for articulation, her arms. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Nine points of articulation, and then we have click knees. So, oh, she's a little bit, my girl's a little bit loose, I felt like, or she's just top heavy. I can't really figure that one out. Anyhow, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and stop blabbing about our girl, which I can't help because she is gorgeous, and, you know, um, and we will get her all dressed up and take a look at her. Okay, so I hate to be a complete geek and nerd about this, guys, but OMG. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Um, she is so beautiful put together. Look at the snake earrings, how they complement. Everything just flows. Everything just looks fabulous. I, I, I don't even know what to say. Um, yeah, they're a bit pricey for fashion dolls, uh, for mass market pa fashion dolls. But I've been saying for a few years now that as a doll collector, I have been willing to pay a little bit more for better quality. So if I had to pay a little bit more to have this amazing, highly detailed quality, um, sure, sure I'd do it. So um, here is um, a full 360 turn of her. And then here's her dressing room. You just remove the uh, paper right here, and then you can have a full mirror and play with her this way. Uh, it's supposed to be reusable and everything. So yeah, that's all we have for you today. That's um, a complete look at Lady Diva. 
and her amazing outfit and accessories. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.